What's up everybody and welcome to another Benzworks tutorial. This is Rich from Benzworks and this week we have the Mercedes-Benz fuel filter removal for the S-Class 2000 and 2006 model years. Uh, basically here is what we're going to be doing is showing you how to remove the fuel filter, the location of where it is. Uh, here I laid out some tools. I suggest you watch this video first before you uh, start collecting the tools needed. Uh, just to the left there is um, what I can remember from the top of my head, other vehicles that also use this type of fuel filter, which is uh, external, which means it's not in the fuel um, fuel tank itself. So here um, on this S-Class, you're going to see this cover, which is on the left side rear, just before the left uh, rear wheel there. There's going to be three plastic uh, 10 millimeter bolts to hold it in place. There I am removing them. Um, on the other model cars that I showed you, you're going to see the same cover. It's going to look a little bit different, but it's either going to be on the right side or the left uh, towards the rear, right before the rear tire itself. So here I removed this cover so I could expose the external fuel pump and external fuel filter. As you can see, it's a little bit hard. It is actually a heat shield there from uh, the exhaust that that gets tucked underneath. And here I'm showing you what the cover looks like. Alright, so here's the layout of what we're going to be looking at. Um, in the middle there is a Phillips screw. That's what you have to loosen to loosen that bracket itself. And there what I'm pointing to is the fuel pump itself. And just right next to it, the big cylinder is the fuel filter. And here is uh, just a quick layout. It's a fuel pump pushes the fuel through the filter itself, goes to the engine and uh, just right there that line is for the fuel pressure regulator the one where it has that little like the smaller hump to it I'm going to be taking off later in the video so here I'm just showing you the lines um, quick little layout like I said fuel goes through the filter gets pushed through the filter alright so here I'm going to give you a little um, technique to uh, show you what to do. What you want to do is get yourself a pick. This pick has like a 45 degree angle to it, it's sharp. So what I do is I get it in between the clamp itself and I just uh, keep prying it until it comes loose. Now if you look here, that line goes directly to this little uh, smaller cylinder there. That is your fuel pressure regulator. What that does is there should be only vacuum going to that from the engine uh, creating uh, pressure for your fuel. So if you ever take, when you take that line off and you have fuel in there, that means the diaphragm in there has broken and you need a new fuel filter. Uh, that might cause a delay in starting, long cranks and things of that matter. So if you ever take that off and fuel comes out, then you know you need to replace it. And that comes on the fuel filter, which is what you're doing now. So now here, what you do is when doing a fuel filter, uh, what I did there is I loosened the clamp. And then next what I do is you either could get um, a pair of needle nose uh, clamping pliers. I'll show you where you will want to put it. You're going to want to put it here on the line. You could either use needle nose clamping pliers like that. I don't really like using that because it has sharp teeth to it. Um, Craftsman sells these uh, hose pinching um, pliers. This is better because it has a flat edge to it. So what you do is you clamp it there, you remove the line, and then uh, you put it on the new fill filter. And see here, here's an option where you can do you can get some pliers and clamp off each line or do one individually. I recommend you do one individually as you take start taking them off. I would suggest you start from the left side, the fuel pressure regulator side, and then you start moving the fuel filter out the way. You start putting in the new one. Do one at a time or do all of them at the same time. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to um, secure these type of clamps. I use a, what's called a closing end pliers. They're uh, flat on the end. It looks like cutting pliers. What you do is just get right underneath those little that clamp, tighten it until it clicks, and that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks a lot.